Welcome to the Jatai Academy. Today we're going to be covering how to do an octopus haircut, which is basically a layered haircut with a little bubble on top, but we're going to do a little different than last time. This time is going to be much more textured, it's going to have a lot more separation to it, and a little bit more fullness. So let's get started. Before I go through and section off everything for my layering, I want to go through and make sure that I have the perimeter length at the length that I want. So I'm going to start by taking a center section straight down the back of the head, and while I'm not worried that this line is perfectly crisp and solid and straight, I do want a crisp point cut to it. I want a real deep, crisp point cut to force it to separate into pieces stronger. So I'm gonna use my Kyoto scissors from Jatai. These are the sharpest scissors that I have. It's uh, got a nice blade, so when I go through and do a deep point cut on it, because it's sharp, I'm gonna get a really nice, crisp line to it. Take everything down, any part that hangs off that looks kind of gnarly, we're going to take off and I want a real crisp point cut into this length. I'm going to show you how I've sectioned out the head. I've taken a natural or center part straight back to the quarter part, quarter part straight down to the center of the spine. From the top of the head, I go to the top of the ear. That's going to be my quarter part. So I have front and back. Now in the back, I'm going to separate from the drop crown, which is the section between the top of the head and the occipital bone. It's right there in the middle. It's also the top of the parietal ridge on the side. So it's going to go straight across. This is going to be my shortest part, and then everything else is going to blend in from that. I'm going to go through, take a center section, I'm going to pull this section straight up, and I want to kind of cut this horizontally across the top. So I'm going to pull this straight up and across, figure out where my shortest length is going to be, point cut that straight across the top. So now I'm going to take my next section. It's going to be parallel to this center section. I'm going to pull this guide right into my second section. So I have the first section and the second section. I'm going to comb those two together and in the center of that section, using my center as the guide, I'm going to cut that straight across. From here I'm going to remove the center section. Now I have section number two. We're going to go through, take section number three, which is parallel to section number two. I'm going to comb those two into the center of both of those two sections, hold straight up towards the ceiling, follow my center guide, or my previously cut guide, cut that straight across the top. After I've removed section number two, section number three, I'm just going to comb everything else straight up into section number three, go through cut that across. I have the center section on the first side. Now I'm going to go through and take a parallel section to that on the second side and repeat the same steps I did on the first side where I'm combing everything into the previously cut section and cutting that straight across. Give us a thumbs up, click subscribe and the notification bell to be notified of future Jatai Academy content. Okay, so we got our top done. Now let's move into the bottom. We're gonna take a center section all the way down. So now what I wanna do is the first section, I held that straight up. Now from here, I'm gonna hold this straight up, but I'm also gonna angle my fingers so I can go from this short piece to this long piece down here in the bottom. I've already cut this, so I'm gonna get that out of the way. Small piece, I'm going to pull that straight up, angle my fingers, continue my point cut as I go from short to long. Take a small piece as my guide. We're going to take the rest of this section, again pull straight up, angle my fingers all the way down to my length. Now from here, I'm going to pivot as I go around. Before I was doing parallel. Now I'm going to pivot. Remove the top, I've already cut that. Take a small 
section here, comb everything clean from the root all the way straight up. There's my guide, I'm working my angle. Cutting that down and through. Take the rest of the section. If I need to, I'll break it down into smaller sections, comb that up. I see my guide from underneath. Cut that down and through. Good. Now we're going to remove my center section and add my next pivot. Just following the same pattern that I was doing before, combing everything straight up to the ceiling. There's my guide from underneath. Follow that through. Get the previously cut hair out of the way. Up and out. Come on, there we go. Next section. Up and out. Now we're going to take our last section. Remove the top. I've already cut that. Before I was walking the guide around, but once I reach the corner of the hairline, I'm going to pull everything in back to that corner of the hairline into this previously cut section. Up and out. There's my guide. Cut that through. Remove the previously cut section. Pulling this down and through. Up. There's my length on the bottom. I'm going to go through. Cut that down and through. All right, let's check ourselves out here and see how we're looking. We've got a nice short amount of layering on the top. Because this was layered at a lower elevation, because it was layered at 90, it's going to have more weight than the hair underneath of it, which was actually held at a higher elevation going all the way up. It was probably held at about a 180. So because the top is going to have more weight, it's actually going to have more volume because it's going to be more solid. But underneath, because it's been over layered, it's going to have a tendrily effect. So you're going to have this weight build up here in the crown and then a tendrily effect underneath. So now let's go through and do the same thing on the other side. Now that I've finished my layering in the back, I'm going to move into the sides and I want to make sure that I keep everything in even wetness and I want to make sure that I can keep the cuticle as compact as possible. So I'm using Jatai Blade Glide. This will help keep everything crisp and compact and also an even moisture content throughout. I'm going to take a section from behind my quarter part. That's going to be the guide for the layering as I work around the front. I'm now going to go through and take a parallel section to my quarter part. My quarter part straight up and down. So I want to make sure that this section is straight up and down. So now I have my parallel section plus a guide from the back half of the head. I'm going to go through, pull this up. And now from here, I have to go to this length on the side. So we're going to extremely angle that layering around the front half of the head. We're going to blend it through at the very top. Make sure that this length right here blends with the length behind it. And then from there, I'm creating a completely new guide. Comb everything straight up, going from short to long as I'm working that through, all the way down to my perimeter length pulling everything straight up. There's my perimeter length, cutting that down and through. It's more important when I'm doing extreme angles of layering like this, it's far more important that it blends top to bottom, meaning from here to here, than it does front to back. So we're not worrying if it blends front to back, we're only worrying if it blends top to bottom. My next section should be very little hair, especially because of our receding hairline. I'm going to pull this straight back into the previously cut section. There is my guide going short to long. 
pulling straight up towards the ceiling and making sure that blends top to bottom. Pulling this straight back to my quarter part, pulling everything back to the quarter part. There's my guide from underneath, cutting that through. That's gonna do very nicely. So now let's go through and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we've got our layering done. So now let's go through and just make sure that all of our layering around the front has a nice smooth blend to it. So I'm gonna go through, take a center section, lay the comb flat against the head, where it leaves the head straight down to the top of the ear. I'm gonna do this on both sides. From here, I'm gonna take a little pie section right in the middle. We're gonna comb it forward off peak curvature of the head. And then we're gonna go through deep point cut that so I have a nice crisp point cut because I'm using my sharp Kyoto scissors. Comb that out of the way. I'm gonna pull this forward as well. And just make sure that we have some nice crispy point cuts around this front to help with separation. And I'm only gonna do it to this section right here. Same thing on the other side. Oh, we can already see how that's starting to flick better on its own. Now let's blow it dry, see how we look and see where we need to add some texture to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna comb out and right in the midsection, I'm gonna take my Tokyo thinning scissors and go and hit just right in the middle. Pull that out so that way I can thin some hair and create a little bit more movement just in the middle. And I'm only gonna do that in the thickest areas where I feel like it's not really flowing that well. So I'll comb this out. I'll say a little there. A little there, we're gonna pull that out. Go up, you can see it right through there. Boom, boom, boom. And I think that that's gonna flow a lot better once we get some of that internal thickness out of it. Comb out, we can see not much there. A little bit right there. Comb up, that's looking pretty good. Give us a follow on your favorite social media platform at Jatai Feather. There, we're gonna pull some of that. Take that, pull that out. This is purely subjective and visual where you feel like the hair needs a little extra removal. And I'm just gonna continue doing this throughout the rest of the head. Here's our end result and I think that uh, we're looking pretty good. We got a nice little bit of movement around the front. We've got a nice solid crown with some good volume because this is nice and short, but it's still a solid shape through here in the crown, which ends up going really soft and tenderly and really layered underneath. And I think that's what really gives this shape, you know, the, the octopus, you know, vibe is where it's solid and full here and tenderly and long and soft underneath. So I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks nice and you look fabulous, my dear. Also check out the Jatai Academy. There's all kinds of fantastic content on there that will make you a better hairstylist and barber. Let us know what you'd like to see in the future and we will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, hey.